Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of Let's Talk About Cigars. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Um, I tried a couple of times to to make well the comeback. To try to get back on uh, onto YouTube. Uh, last what was it? February, March. Uh, we went to the festival in Cuba. I did a lot of videoing there. Uh, I was thinking about making that video. Unfortunately, when I came back, busy, busy, a lot of things happening, and just didn't, just didn't happen. So sorry for that. But this time we have something, a new cigar. Uh, of course, in the in the in the time that I was gone from YouTube, a lot of new cigars came in. A lot of uh, very special cigars came in. A lot of uh, new hyped things that are impossible to get for anybody. Um, and for the people who do uh, have a chance to get them, for most people it's, it's uh, too, too expensive. So I could have made a video about some cigars that nobody will ever buy uh, or will be able to buy. So I thought let's wait for some newer things to come uh, that are nice to review uh, for the people who can actually normally buy cigars. So in this case um, I got two cigars coming up. Uh, one of them is the new Edmundo, Monte Cristo, Edmundo, the white Edmundo. Yes, white Edmundo. It's been launched quite a long time ago, uh, but it's finally here. It took a while, but it's here. So, time to review this one. Uh, and another cigar that came in is the Ramon Alonis uh, number three. Also, a new size for Ramon Alonis, and this is also a completely new size for uh, Monte Cristo. We know the size, of course, white. Churchill, but this is the stronger version. So let's see how it is. Um, I have smoked it. I already had the cigar uh, a long time ago on one of the festivals. I got one. I was going to save it uh, to do a review. Didn't happen. But now we have boxes, so I can actually show you the cigar and uh, yeah, smoke the cigar with you. So let's open up the box. Uh, we have them in boxes of 10 and in boxes of 25. 25. We're going to smoke one from the box of 10. So for you, for those who are curious, it is from 2022. Uh, it is quite a fresh box because it's December 22. And uh, yeah, nice wooden box, nothing too special. A lot of horrible, horrible, horrible stickers on it. But hey, new regulations everywhere. Uh, you just can't, can't get around them. Price sticker is on it. Uh, it is a lot more expensive than I was hoping for, uh, but now with all the new price increases, this was actually a little bit more what I was expecting. Um, I was hoping it would have been uh, around uh, 17, 16, 17 euros, should be a good price point. Uh, but nowadays the Petit and Mundo is already at that price point. So uh, this one goes for 218 euros per box. So. 21.80 per cigar. Yes, for, for those of you who are not very active Cuban smokers and haven't smoked a lot in the, in the last couple of years and watch this, will be like, what, what happened to that price point? Yes, uh, the prices went up a lot, a lot. And this is actually a regular normal cigar. We're not talking about the Cohibas, the Trinidads, the Regionals, the Limitadas. Those prices are completely out of this world. For those of you who follow me for a long time, know that I find something very important and that is price quality. So uh, things can be expensive, no problem with that. Of course things can be expensive, but it has to make sense. Some things nowadays just don't make sense. So let's uh, cut this one up and uh, light it up and let's talk a little bit more about it. No draw. Ah, yeah, yeah. Good draw. Immediately good draw. Using, of course, a Dupont cutter. I couldn't find my Dupont lighter right away, so I'm using a uh, La Casa Bado Maastricht lighter. So, let's see how this goes. It's early in the morning. I uh, haven't had a very proper breakfast, so my taste palette is quite fresh. Um, but this is probably going to be a heavy one in the morning. 
Let's see how this goes. Touching it up a little bit. Nice evenly burned. Two puffs and we're go good to go. Ooh. Okay, one thing we need to talk about. I didn't really show you the, the cigars. Let me show you the cigars. The box. Of course, the classic Monte Cristo band, but, but the, the, the yellow. I understand it's Monte Cristo yellow, but somehow, I don't know what you guys think, but somehow it, 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 it just looks cheap this way. N not the right color for it. Uh, Monte Cristo yellow on the, on the side of the boxes and everything, fine, love that color, classic, everything. But a band like that, in that color, uh, it makes it look a little bit cheap to me. Mm. So, immediately I have some spots where the tobacco is burning a little bit quicker. You can hear it knispering, snapping. Yeah, this is definitely not going to be an evenly burning cigar. But, first taste. I was expecting it to be a little bit, a little bit more peppery because uh, it's such a, such a fresh cigar. Um, it's now seven months old. Uh, eight months old, so fresh. I think we can call this fresh. But quite nice so far. Yeah. Because it's so early, I think I'm going to pair it with a cup of coffee. I'm not going for any liquor uh, right now. But uh, yeah. This is not bad, not spectacular. Let's be honest, it's still an Emuno, so there is no wow factor here in this cigar. That was, of course, uh, to be expected. But it's always the big question: is it nice or not? So far, I'm um, I'm liking it. So, for those of you that are happy, I'm back. Uh, I'm planning to do a couple of more videos uh, right after this one, uh, or maybe in the in the time that I pause uh, until the halfway point, I might might make some extra videos. Um, a lot of things happened. A lot of things. A lot of things happened. So the Dutch regulations changed again. Uh, for those of you who uh, sometimes look at our web shop and try to order from us, might have noticed something. I will make a video about that as well. Uh, we're going into some different business as well. Uh, there are some DuPont updates that are uh, going to come. So uh, if you're watching this video, um, that means that I'm pretty much back on doing videos that I actually posted it. So that's a good sign. Uh, more things to come. Uh, this time, I promise you, uh, there might be a, another gap coming, not that long. But uh, the, if, if you see this video, there will be some more videos coming, uh, coming up after this. Uh, I'm still quite a lot in doubt what I'm going to do with all the videos, uh, well, with the video making. Right now it's just me, camera in front of me, sitting like this, making the video. Um, uh, I thought about maybe hiring some guys uh, and make more of professional video, proper camera gear, uh, different angles, uh, uh, beautiful shots of the boxes and everything. Um, I asked around a little bit uh, for some feedback from, from people. Please also give me some feedback on this YouTube video as well on this. Uh, some people say like, just keep it like this. There are now already a couple of, well, quite a lot of guys who are doing very professional videos with, with the cigars and just try to keep it normal. We like it this normal way. Some others say like, oh no, we love to have a more professional look with the flashy shots and everything. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm, I'm quite in doubt about what I'm going to do with, with that part. Uh, because just sitting like this in the chair also works for me. So let me know. I'm going to uh, enjoy this uh, cigar until the 
halfway points as you remember from me and uh, yeah let's see how it goes because so far not a bad taste absolutely not yeah i'm liking it so far so let me i will let you know so we're almost at the halfway point we're getting to the first band so uh, I, I have to I have to apologize. I made a mistake earlier in the video saying it's uh, it's the same size as a wider Mundo. My mistake. I went for hearing the name, uh, seeing the cigar. I think like that's probably going to be the same size. Would be logical, right? You made a wider Mundo, wide Churchill. It would make sense, but it isn't. So here we have a, a white Churchill, and here we have a white Mundo. Not a huge difference. So this is ring size 54, ring size 55. 12 and a half centimeters long, 13 centimeters long. So it's not a very big difference, but it is a difference. It is, it is yeah, noticeable. Unfortunately, this would have been a good chance. Make the same cigar. Everybody loves this size. I don't know anybody who doesn't love the white, uh, the white Churchill size. So it would have been a great opportunity to make a stronger version of the White Churchill, but different size. Don't know why. Price-wise, uh, it is also more expensive than the White Churchill. So you get a little bit less cigar size-wise for more money, but uh, you have a nice strong cigar. So uh, like I said, almost at the half point, seriously, I'm enjoying this cigar. Even though it's early, uh, even though I should have eaten a little bit more, I think, but pairing this with a cup of coffee in the morning, if you're a stoked smoker, uh, you, can, you can enjoy this for sure. It's very nice flavors. Um, I love the cigar. Yeah, can't say anything bad about it. Price, like I said, should have been lower. Should have been lower. But nowadays with how the pricing is, it's a good cigar. Will this be a cigar for me that I will smoke a lot? I'm not sure. I might still go for the double at Mundo uh, or maybe even an E2, so on that price point. Uh, I'm not sure if this will be my go-to cigar for that. It will definitely be a cigar that I will be smoking more if the stock is coming in. We received a couple of boxes uh, of 25, boxes of 10. Um, I'm, I hope, I hope that they will keep producing them Keep sending them off because uh, we have it open now since yesterday. Uh, we have it in the store. It's uh, two per person. Uh, unfortunately, it's not online. Uh, after this video, there will be a video um, um, uploaded and I will explain a little bit more about why it's not on the web shop anymore. There's nothing cigar wise on the web shop anymore. Uh, yeah, very, very unfortunately. But if you are in the neighborhood of your in the neighborhood of your local cigar store and they have it, it's worth it. Uh, if they charge you over, I know some countries will charge you over. Uh, if you have to pay 30 euros plus for this, no, I wouldn't do it. No. Mm. But it is it is enjoyable. I made one mistake as well. Another mistake. I light it up with, with a simple lighter and a uh, uh, Cohiba Dupont cutter. I should have used something else. Wait, one second. I should have used the newer lighter set from, uh, from Dupont on this one. Because Dupont, you probably know it, uh, is now doing a lot more collaborations with uh, Habanos brands. They, last year or two years ago, it was Cohiba. Beautiful, beautiful lighters. Um, uh, two sets, a vehicle uh, set and a, a 55 year anniversary. But now they have it with Monte Cristo. So Monte Cristo has a set of uh, these type of colors, the colors with, that you can use as a stand. Uh, but they also, of course, brought out the classic line so this is the yellow with blue going up to black and you have them with uh, yellow, orange and then blue at the top 
and you have them, or this is black at the top, sorry, uh, and you also have them with the blue on the top. I have to say, when I first saw them on a picture, wasn't really that crazy about it. When they came into the store, this is, this is beautiful. Yeah, beautiful gold finishes on this one. And uh, the one with the, with the yellow and the blue is uh, in a silver uh, color. It's a beautiful, beautiful lighter. So we have uh, all of the, the three, we have three versions and all of them have, we have them in uh, Le Grand's uh, as well. It's unfortunately not a Le Grand with a, with a ping. That's, uh, that's too bad. This one luckily has a ping. So if you want to check them out on the web shop, we have all of them for sale. Beautiful, beautiful lighters. But yeah, the cigar. Um, like I said, I think, I think I don't even have to smoke it until the end uh, because it, it's so good right now, it will probably be very good at the end as well. Great cigar, happy to, uh, to have smoked it finally. And uh, yeah, happy to be back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I promised you, there are more reviews coming up. Uh, I will do a, probably a more in-depth review with a couple of Duponts. Not sure if it's going to be the Monte Cristo line because we also got a uh, 24 hours of Le Mans series of Dupont. Beautiful. You don't even have to like cars to, to, to see these are beautiful. Those have the, the liveries of uh, some of the most famous uh, uh, brands in, uh, in the racing history. So uh, more videos coming up. Thank you guys uh, for, for watching this again. Let me know in the comments what I ask you and uh, hopefully we will see you soon. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this uh, cigar. And smoke on. <laughs>